Act! Kurtwe's forward camp melted like a spring thaw at our approach. Is it from here we launch our attack? We do indeed, and we are ready to fight. King Harold's forces are well in place. Only give the word. I will, but before we strike, I have a request. Name it. The neighbor may give challenge to Kurtwe at the gate of his fortress. A battle to the death in single combat. Yes. Is this what you want? Kyotri robbed my father of all honor and dignity. I will win it back. When honor is at stake, let none interfere. And if Kyotri should die before the battle begins, all the better for our chances. Today my blade must do the work of Skuld's sharp scissors. ...and cut short the cord of Kjotve's fate. Well said, my sharp-tongued warrior scout. May we all live to hear that saga sung. Eivor, a word! Basim, Hytham. This feud is not yours, yet you fight it all the same. I find that strange. You find it strange because you are wrong. Our clan, the Hidden Ones, have been fighting with Kjotve's order for centuries. You came from Miklagard to kill Kjotve yourself? We did. Or rather, we came so that Hytham could kill him. My apprentice has been studying this target for many months. Is Kjotve's reputation so great outside Norway? Not his reputation alone, but the order to which he belongs. Something of a rival clan to our own. Hytham, I mean no disrespect to you or the Hidden Ones. But Kyotve is mine. My family's honor is at stake. I understand. All that matters is that Kyotve dies this day. On that, we are agreed. Fight is mine, Kjotve. Sigurd is only here to watch me feed your innards to my raven. Look at this! Once again, Abel Wolf just appears to take a swipe at me. This... This is my father's shame. Today I take back the honor he lost. I call a home gang! Here! Against the Oathbreaker! I will make you beg, as your father begged, Wolfkiss. Squeal, as your mother squealed. You destroyed my life! I will take yours! You are weak, like your father was weak! You dance better than you fight! Avoid your death! Come! Embrace your destiny! My blade will drink your blood! Your flesh will feed my wolf!
Brandon? What do you want with me? You won your prize, Brookest, for the glory of my death. the crucible of your doom. Your father is dead, Gorham. His debt repaid. Open the gates and you will be spared. Wallow in shit, wolf kissed. Archers, take aim. Ravens, show no mercy. Archers, fire. Forward to glory!
chance has made you predictable. You are a shadow of your father, Gorm. Weak and witless. And you will leave this place as ashes on the wind. Coward Garm flees. His father dies twice today. battle rises from my brow. The skulls will sing of this night. We have won the day, but Gorm escaped. He fled north to King Harald's domain. Let that bruised piglet run where he may. His father is dead. His clan is no more. We are the masters of Ruyavilke. A toothless cup may grow to be a dangerous wolf. Eivor, stop. And listen. You have reclaimed your honor. Enjoy the night's victory. Tomorrow, we will celebrate. You're right, brother. You're always right. Guth Ormur, relay news of our victory to your nephew, the king. I have done so already, Sigurd. He'll be more than pleased, and will ensure you pride of place at his Althing at Ulrikstadir. Tell him we will come. Battle first, and singing songs of glory. Keep company with kings, and you will soon have a crown of your own. <laughs> if the fates have spun it so, linger here and loot what you can. I will bring news of our victory to father before he leaves for Harald's Althing. I know, Sunan. Another time. This place is heavily guarded.
What is all this? Who bangs the drums of war? Look at you! A battle-hardened vikinger! <laughs> Just what we need. Oh, and what do you need this battle-hardened warrior for? One day, we will be the greatest warriors beneath our banner. Skulls will write songs off the wolf pack, but we must first practice our raiding. <laughs> Going on a raid? Then we shall raid. Three wolves and I will be forced to your lead. Wolf pack! Onwards! Wolf pack! They ran. Four warriors, like four limbs of one clawing body. Each limb built to kill. Destroy. at the village. Torches, axes, and blades at the ready. Ready for the slaughter. Ah! It's inside to all outsides now. A successful raid. Yes. With your help, we slaughtered the Raven Clan for good. The Raven Clan, you say? Yes. Just like Shotve Yal's stories. One day I'll be just like him. Countless young raiders. I'll see you wolves on another battlefield one day. Welcome, welcome. Come see what I have. These are locally sourced. You be sure to always bring your stuff to me. You should always have some of these. Wonderful! No refunds. 
Are you sure there isn't uh, something else you wanted? I must be on my way now. Goodbye. I said your stench is strong. Your stench! I will feed your teeth. Wrapped in your tongue, Bakra! What's going on?
Just won your heart's desire, Eivor. Yet by the look on your face, you've lost your will to live. Gorm is here with the last of his men. Why does that troll dare show his face? Leave it for another day. We are here under Harald's truce, and Gorm is too weak to try anything bold. Here's a seat stain on his father's trousers. I should wipe him from this world. Not tonight, Eivor. Leave it. Basim, watch over this one and see that he warms himself with drink. I will find my father and escort him to the longhouse. As you wish. Is Hytham well? He will heal, but never fully recover. It is fortunate that you were able to succeed where he failed. My resolve was strong. When you slew Kjotve, did you see a sigil on him? Silver, the size of my palm, bearing the symbol of an ash tree? Take it. Trade it for what you can. I know where Gorm is camped. If you wish to see him without anyone the wiser, there is a trick I can teach you. Already looking for another princess? All right, I'll bite. What do I do? Use your cloak to obscure your face. Blend into the crowd. Divert attention. Hide in plain sight. A gift of knowledge from a man I hardly know. Is this your way of asking me to join your brotherhood? Not at all. So long as men and women fight to secure honor and freedom, the religions hardly matters to me. I suppose there's no shame in using deception when honor is at stake. And Gorham is a stain on that honor. Then let's see what can be done to cleanse that stain. Give it a try. A few things you should know before you step into his camp. Walking unseen through hostile territory is an exercise in subtlety. A hood makes you forgettable, dismissed at a distance. Remain far from watchful eyes and you will be invisible to them. Do not draw blade or hammer, for these and other sudden movements can break your disguise. And in case I wasn't clear, you will need to put up your hood for the trick to work. Gorm is there, in the camp ahead.
What were you thinking? Drinking mead on an empty stomach? Uh, uh, you have to eat something before drinking that much. How does that go? Feed before me. I have some roasted lamb on the spit. Are you coming? A good spit is worth ah. the weight of shit. These days, the spit has so much to do. You want something done? Let's do it. Evil! You utter shit! Take up your weapon and follow me beyond these walls. Let Odin's favor land where it may. You dare not break the king's peace here. So fuck you and your god talk. What say you to that? <laughs> you can beat me, but you will not kill me. Not under Harald's truce. You are all subject to King Harald's truce. Break his peace and you will be cast out of Alrikstad. I will give you no trouble. You were shed into this world without honor, Gorm. And you will leave as a turd dumped into hell's deepest ditch. Keep crowing, Eivor. You only make yourself an easier target. The all thing will have started. I should find Sigurd.
Pains me to say, he does. Thank you. His day will come. Oh, gods. I hate long speeches. Only when you're not giving them. Many of you knew my father, Halfdan the Black. A great man who achieved great things. They buried Halfdan's leg near our temple. The crops have never grown tall. <laughs> they buried his arse near ours. And we get nothing but a muddy river! I dream of something greater. A vast kingdom of warriors in numbers the world has never seen. United under one king, one rule. Too much blood has been spilled fighting one another. Today, we unify. And turn our blades outward to conquer new lands. And who better to lead us to glory than me? I was blooded before the age of ten, and I led the greatest army Norway has ever seen. But they say a wise king seeks honest counsel, so I ask, who among you rejects this new arrangement? I am not your enemy, King Harald, but I will not be your subject. Tomorrow we sail for greener shores, and so my kingdom is yours. This saddens me, noble Hjor. And does your wife agree? Is she not tired of limping ever westward? My husband and I are as one in this lord. We do not limp together. We fly. I'm sad to lose a woman of your spirit, Luvina. But I hold no grudge. May the fates grant you good luck. My king! I offer you my axe and my oath, ironclad. Gorm Kjotveson, you dare show your face in this hall. Did not King Styrbjorn and his son Sigurd rid our lands of your foulness? The Raven Clan dishonored me, great king. They poisoned my father, Kjotve. They made a mockery of his honorable death. Bakrat, you lie! Hold, Eivor. Let it play out. This is a serious charge, Gorm, and a false one at that. My uncle saw your father die. Eivor Wolfkist, you are Kjotve's slayer. This man has slandered your clan. What shall I do with him? Exile, Lord. Banish him to the wilds where even a slave could kill him with impunity. A wise choice. Death would be too easy a way out. Gorm, I name you Worm and call you Exile. Leave these lands by the next full moon or I will feed you to the crows myself. King Harold, may I speak? The floor is yours, King Stebjörn. My people have held our land since the days when Odin himself walked among us. My kingdom is humble, but we have paid for it in blood. Our victory over Kjotve is proof that we will not lay down without a fight. All here have buried friends, 
brothers and sisters, sons and daughters. And I, for one, have had my fill of death. Let those who seek war look beyond our shores. If King Harold brings peace, then I am happy to bend my knee to him. What? What in hell's name are you doing, father? Securing a lasting peace, Sigurd. Our days of fighting are finished. You said nothing of this to me. Not a word. And I will not yield a title that should be mine by right. Then war will continue. Men will die, villages will burn, you foolish boy. This is our only way towards true peace. You will die a thrall. You drink adult cow. Alone and toothless in a bed of straw. Forgive my son. He is ruled by his emotions. I take no offense, dear Bjornjarl. And I thank you for your fealty. It is natural to fear change, to resist it. But all things change and all things end. The lessons of Ragnarok are clear. We will speak again soon. That was an ambush, Lord. Did you know of Stupion's plans? For some days, yes, I did. But it was not at my urging. It was his decision alone. Do you dream of a glorious future, Eivor? A warrior like you would be a boon to my clan. I dream of a glorious death, but not at the cost of betraying my family. You intrigue me, Wolfkist. Orphan and sibling, warrior and poet. You are many in one, it seems. You know much about me. I have eyes and ears everywhere, as any effective king must. Would you not be one of my ravens? I'm bound to Sigurd, and he to me. But if fate should cross our threats again... I understand. Yet should your fortunes change, you are welcome in my hall. But let us leave these matters for another time. Tonight, we will eat and drink like gods, and wake in a kingdom made new. I need your eye, friend. <laughs> it's Eivor! Open the door! ago, we rid this land of Kjotve and his dogs. Yet today, we do not celebrate. Today we cower under a cloud of fear. But it need not be like this. We are not the heel-trodden subjects of a boy king. We are the Raven Clan. Our destiny is our own. Did you know about your father's oath to Harold? I did not. And for that, my anger burns hotter than any man's here. But I will not let that drive me into despair. We cannot stay in Norway. Not under Harald's boot. Not without fueling more war. So we push forward. To newer lands. 
to England. And there make a new home, a kingdom of our own. The sons of Ragnar Lothbrok have been in England eight winters already. Is there any land left for a clan of our size? More than enough, wife. Of the four kingdoms of England, only one is truly pacified. I have no desire to wear Harald's leash. I like this idea. A saga for the ages, I agree. It will take time and resources to build ourselves a new home. But the riches taken from Kjotve's raid would suffice. No. That belongs to my father, as a fair compensation. In England, we must start anew. You would start us with nothing? In a land we do not know? Among people who hate us? Kjotve's riches would go some way to easing our passage, Sigurd. I bested him. It is within my rights to claim his goods. Our leaving must not be an assault on my father. It is a time of renewal for us. If you object, I understand. Let your father keep Kjotvis riches. England will have riches and cargo enough for us. Good. I did not want this cloud hanging over us. It is a wise leader who considers the need of others. To England, then, before the day is out. Pack what you need, but no more than that. And tighten your lips. The last thing we need is the attention of Harald's troops. How much did you hear? Enough. A new path is revealed, and your journey will be challenging. Will you not join us? For my mother's sake, I cannot. But our threats will cross again before the final day. Until then, farewell. I don't like the way those soldiers watch me. I find it flattering. You think one will marry you and carry you off to the capital? <laughs> would he? He would take his pleasure and move on, you moon-eyed magpie. Leaving you with a little soldier to race by yourself. Eivor, the wind favors us. We should set sail without delay. You made quick work of packing. Well done. The dream of new lands is a powerful lure. As is the promise of glory, but the act of leaving so beloved a home, there is a sadness to it. Having doubts? No, not at all. The die is cast. Then let fate guide our journey. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let us tank to the water and leave unbothered while we have the chance. That chance has passed. Look! Fate flies on swifter wings than we. King Harold's banner. Sigurd? What is this assembly? What are you planning? An exit, father. 
As graceful as I can. For if I cannot be king in the land of my birth, I will start a new saga. In England. Nonsense. Your place is here, son, at my side. There will be other victories soon. Other glories. My choice is made, father. Do not hope otherwise. Stirbjorn Jarl. Our men were killed as we patrolled nearby. And the word is... Eivor swung the axe. If the dead could speak, what would they say of their deaths, Wolf Kist? They would tell you how they offered us insults, and how I slew them for it. As the dead cannot defend themselves, a fair geld is wanted. Fifty weight of silver for each life. By law. Fifty weight? You will have it from me. A parent must pay the price of his children's folly. That was generous, Lord. Why England? Why throw away all you have for such an uncertain future? Here you could be a king's hero, Eivor. Your name, known all across Harold's many kingdoms. No. I will not be captive to another man's gaudy design. My destiny is my own to weave. Eivor speaks for both of us, father. You gambled your honor, and you lost your family. I hope the trade was worth it. Anger and sadness wrestle for my heart. But I am glad you'll leave this place alive. to cross. All right, you lazy back routes. Sigurd, what's our course? The sons of Ragnar Sigurd. established the settlement near the coast. We set sail for them. Bragi, sing a song to lift our room. To rouse the gods! Inspire a mighty fart from Thor to speed us on our way! An ocean lies before us, Eivor, and on its far side, a new kingdom awaits. You know England well from your travels. I spent the season in their kingdom of Mercia, a temperate land, lush and wild. By now, the sons of Ragnar will have claimed its heart. Do we mean to join their army? They will join ours. In time, all of England will know of Ravenclaw and the glory we brought to that fractured land. So to England, glory and destiny. To England. To England. What about Hala?
This has resulted in huge disturbances in radio and satellite communications, dangerous bands of radiation around the poles, and as we can all see from our window, an aurora borealis that never burns away. Unfortunately, we are stumped as to why this is happening, and if we cannot find an answer soon, it may change the way we live, the way we communicate, even the way we evolve forever. Dr. Sierka went on to say, Bought you more electrolytes? Oh, new and improved citrus flavor. Thanks, Sean. How do we fix this? How are you the key to everything? You're a long way from home, Eivor. Hmm. I'm not going anywhere. Not yet. Some quality stuff here. Oof. Mint tea is not actually tea, Bex. It's an infusion. It's really just dirty minty water. I don't care what you call it, Sean. Did you buy any? Of course I did, love. Hey, sorry about pulling you out. The generator was sputtering. That's fine. I needed air. How is the Animus data stream? Comfortable? Felt pretty stable after a while. Good. Just give me a sec, and you can jump back in. Another satellite came down. Did you see? I did. One of Abstergo's. That's good. Well, most of North America just lost its GPS service, so... Depends what you mean by good, really. Right. Even when we win, we lose. Okay, we're all set. Whenever you're ready, you can jump back in. Feeling okay? Better. But I'm worried that it could happen again. The two data streams. I can't promise it won't. I barely understand it myself. It felt like two minds fighting over one brain. It hurt like a shotgun to the head. Right. There's something about this Viking's DNA sample that feels dense, noisy. Could it be the staff interfering somehow? How do you mean? My headaches, my temper. They started the day I got that thing. I hope you're not making excuses for, you know, your friend. Jesus, no. I'm not. Sorry. Just take it easy. And if you feel yourself slipping again, let us know. I'm trying. I really am. You gonna put this in the fridge, Sean? Of course. In half a minute. Remember, tomatoes go on the counter, not the fridge. Please enjoy your stay. Remember, all the garbage must be packed out, and please water the plants once a day. Yeah, I won't remember that. That's quite nice. Soothing. I went through hell to bring you here. It had better be worth it. Sean has been busy. Hello, Layla. 
Sean, what do you make of the grave out there? Well, it overturns a few hundred years of scholarship about the first Europeans to set foot in North America. Apart from that, it's just a bunch of muddy bones, isn't it? Can we talk about this thing on my neck for a second? Ah, the mood stabilizer. Yes. It's not harmful, is it? I mean, I feel good, but I want to make sure there's no side effects. There shouldn't be. It's only blocking outside signals, a passive effect. So the staff doesn't, you know, mess with you. Sean, what happened last year, I, I had no control over that. I, I tried to resist. I understand. And your old team, maybe they don't. But we've seen that sort of thing before. Still, if you want to work with us and get to the bottom of why the world is about to end for the second time in eight years, then you wear that thing until we say otherwise. William's orders. I know. It's not a problem. It's just a few more weeks, yeah? Just until we figure this out. You're right. I know you're right. You mind if I put some music on? Go for it. Cool. Let's have a look. Nice to sleep in a real bed when this is over. All right, time to go. Norway to England takes about a week by long ship, so I'll scrub ahead. You okay? Sorry. Can you play the message again? We have the transcript. If you're looking for something, I can no, go and... No, I want to hear it. Okay. I don't mean to be cryptic. It's just... That message led us here. To this place. To a Norse grave in North America. So those bones out there are the only lead we have. Our only chance at fixing this planet before it's too late. Here it is. I lived. I died. And now I sleep. And in my sleep, I dream. And in my dreams, I see an end to the doom that will grip the Earth once again. Find the wolf kissed. Find the mad one. Find me. And save us all. Death. Unsettling, that is. That pulse in the message. Are you sure it's just coordinates? Nothing else? Nothing I can find. Okay, I'm ready. Here we go. 